So I'm here in front of GM Lordstown. If you're around the area, um, you'll know this building because it's been here for a long time, employed a lot of people. Um, and big in the news lately, it's shutting down here in March. Uh, and I got a, I do tours all the time, and somebody on a tour said, could I do a, a uh, video of GM Lordstown? So I, I, I started doing a video, but then I got, um, you know, said, told by a security officer that he can't record on the property. Um, and out of respect, I, um, you know, I, I'm not going to um, anymore. I already got some uh, video of it. It's not going to be a negative video at all because obviously I have a, a um, GM uh, Chevy Malibu. I, re I really like Chevy, and um, I think... I think it's a great, great car. It, it's um, had some issues, but I do like Chevy. I like American-made vehicles. So um, I, uh, I just wanted to go into, you know, because I was doing a tour, so I figured I'd drive by here. I wasn't doing it of Lordstown, but the town I did was this was about a 10-mile out of the way drive. So I figured I'd, I would come here and um, explain you know how I feel. I, I've got barely off the property. Uh, this is a really nice uh, you know place for for people from far away given that it's right off of Route 80, Interstate 80 and right off of 76 and then I came up uh, 45. It's not an interstate but it's uh, it's a high it's smaller two-lane highway. It turned into a four-lane now. already been a lot laid off because I knew a guy who worked here I used to deliver wood to him and uh, the next year I came back and I said how's uh, work at GM gone and he said uh, he got laid off so I know they've already cut down the employment a little bit obviously it would have been this parking lot probably a few years ago would have probably been a lot fuller than it is now there's hardly anybody there now just a few cars here and there and a few trucks but um, I think it's sad, but I mean, if it's necessary, hopefully GM prospers through, through the years. Um, obviously, I know it's a hard decision on management. I don't think they have the, they know completely what it's like because they're, they're making a lot more than frontline employees do, but it's really a difficult decision, but I'm glad they gave, you know, a few months notice, then the employees will be able to file for unemployment after that or they could look for another job so i mean i think there's a lot of things they did right i think it's a difficult decision but ultimately um being in business you you have to make money so um or else you can't you know hire anybody so i i think um it's probably a bottom line a business decision but um i feel i feel bad for anybody who worked here and uh, I'm sure if, if you're one of the people who are getting laid off, you'll find something soon. It took me 
when I got laid off a few months, but eventually I found something and it was better. So um, I think I think you'll make it through it. And uh, this is a this is a great uh, I know it's a great company for training people to do a lot of uh, skilled labor, and uh, I think I think you'll better use that elsewhere. <laughs>